Jason Mudderwin still back on his hocks as the stores broke open and uh, loses a couple of lengths leaving the stores. A real charge through the early stages with the late poet up with the pace, all the good, and also Mutter Weffer and OG in a dark blue jacket, probably just the leader now. OG from Mutter Weffer, late poet towards the inside, Nosferatu, Tranquil Tiger in a pink cap, then up the inside, just strategic mount is making headway with group captain in a striped jacket there, followed out wide by Hitchcock. And uh, behind Hitchcock, then scriptwriter from uh, Minkowski, halfway down the field. Castle Howard, Purple Moon, Mudderwin towards the rear with Honolulu and Pevensey. And right out the back, wing collar, Solent is held up today in El Tango. So continuing down the back straight, the horse that's very wide is Hitchcock there. OG leading to Mutawafa with uh, towards the inside strategic mount who has really bustled along after a couple of furlongs to take a more prominent role. Up the inner and a noseband, all the good. The blue jacket of late poet is handy. Pink cap out wide, tranquil tiger. Followed by Hitchcock very deep. Nosferatu in a spotted jacket. And then Castle Howard in a green cap. The inside on the right, the blue and yellow stripes. That's group captain followed by Godolphin scriptwriter. And then up the inside, Minkowski. Further back is Pevensey and Purple Moon. Purple Moon in the pinkish sleeves, a bit off the gallop at the moment under Jamie Spencer Halls with a big white face. But from coming through towards the end, Honolulu, uh, Mudawin the inside, and El Tango now one of the back markers with Solent as they race against the trees on the far side. OG continues to trap along here. Looks a very brisk pace. Strategic Mount is second. Mutawafa is third. Tranquil Tiger pushed along in fourth place from All the Good and Lake Poet. Then behind these is Hitchcock, wide, wide of Castle Howard, Nosferatu, group captain on the inside. Scriptwriter is next. Then Minkowski, Purple Moon, Pevensey making ground round the outside. El Tango continues to lock on towards the rear with Solent and Honolulu has ground to make up and so too does Wing Collar. They turn for home in the Ebor then. Just over four furlongs to cover and OG leads them across towards the stand side. Leads by about a length here. Down the centre all the good in the noseband with Strategic Mountain Lake Poet and Scriptwriter coming there quite strongly. Mutawafa and Tranquil Tiger with a chance on the near side. Then races Nosferatu as they run down inside the final three. OG has succumbed to all the good. Scriptwriter continues to look dangerous. Tranquil Tiger, Purple Moon now coming through. The big white face comes to join in. Scriptwriter and Purple Moon, these two battling on inside the two. The favourite takes it up. Purple Moon in the hands of Jamie Spencer from Scriptwriter and Karen McAvoy. Running home well is Honolulu for Bally Doyle on the near side. And these are chased by Wing Collar and Minkowski inside the final furlong. Purple Moon, Honolulu. Lulu the stands rail, then scriptwriter, a hundred yards left to go, Purple Moon by a couple of lengths to Honolulu, the favourite wins, Purple Moon lifts the Ebor in second, Honolulu, scriptwriter third, Minkowski fourth. 2009 changing of the guard rearing as the stalls open and uh, leaves the stalls practically last slowly with Camps Bay but a long way to go and plenty of time to make it up Johnny Murta in that dark blue jacket record breaker it's just about the early leader the white face Waringa towards the inside in the yellow Somtala many rivers to cross is very handy in a white jacket towards the left further left on the wide outside Deutschland is in the midfield and they're followed by Dan Silly Dancer as they cover the first quarter mile and Waringa the top weight now sets out in front from record breaker in second Dan City Dancer and many rivers to cross they share third Somtala shuffled back to fifth in sixth place then is Val Vogel from precision break hits only Vickers towards the inside of Deutschland then in the midfield Red Merlin in a red jacket followed by Sir Centre with changing of the guard having moved up into about seventh or eighth last now with ladies best and desert sea towards his outside. Nanton is further back in the field. The Betchworth kid is just about the back marker at the rear of the pack with Siberian Tiger also well back as well and also Magical Mystery Tour in the rear division with the slow start in Camps Bay. It's still Waringa, the 7-2 second favourite that makes the running here trying to define nine stone ten in the hands of Ryan Moore. If he can make all under that weight, it'll be a terrific performance. Record breaker is second. Dan Silly Dancer now goes third from many rivers to cross. Val Vogel towards the inside then, followed by Somtala, and then towards the outside is Hits Only Vic, or Deutschland it is, then Hits Only Vic. Red Merlin drives up the inside from Precision Break and Desert Sea out wide. There's the favourite changing of the guard. In behind runners, the dark blue jacket, Johnny Murta, the inside of Ladies Best, and the 
Little Mare's the centre, and then Camps Bay to the outside. Nose Bandit, Magical Mystery Tour, Siberian Tiger, Nanton and Precision Break at the tail of the field. They swing left-handed and head towards the home straight now with four and a half furlongs left to cover. The Betchworth kid right out the back as well. Waringa continues to lead the way. Doesn't look as though it's been that blisteringly quick. Record Breaker now drawing alongside to challenge many rivers to cross. Dan Silly, Dancer, Val Vogel, then follows behind these Red Merlin towards the inside, changing of the guard, looking for him towards the inside, behind a wall of horses at the moment, as Record Breaker begins to get on top from Waringa inside the final two. Many rivers to cross is giving chase, then Val Vogel from Dan Silly, Dancer, Deutschland, and Sir Centre running on very well down the outside. Meanwhile, Johnny Murter is forced to weave around. Meanwhile, up ahead, Waringa has beaten off some of his pursuers. He's fought back. Many rivers to cross to centre. Deutschland and changing to the guard is flying at the finish now. Waringa swallowed up by a group of horses. To centre, changing of the guard. And to centre has just won it from changing of the guard, who had to come through all sorts of horses and in different directions. to go hood off desert sea uh, a bit slow out salute him from a wide out draw nanton is settled in early by young paul norton as they race through the early stages overturn is certainly right up there on the wide outside centennial wants to go forward fortuny in the green jacket dangerous midge towards the inside with martyr and uh, just as he did in the northumberland plate up at newcastle overturn from a wide out draw getting across to lead from fortuny with centennial in third place Place. Chasing the leaders is Demolition with Dangerous Midge and then Prospect Wells. Not far off them is Bridge of Gold, Martyr in a light blue jacket up the inside of the nose banded Dali Sun. Then Desert Sea followed by Sopranist in the midfield El Yardi. Rosica is next from Ajan and Bernie the Bolt. And then towards the rear, Dira with Hillview Boy. Uh, Salutim is out the back door, so too the Betchworth kid. And Nanton is last of all. So overturn in front here from Fortuny in second place. Marta going off the 9-2 favourite to win the Ebor. Centennial is third. Demolition in the most sleeves fourth. Orange sleeves is dangerous. Midge up the inside then. A bridge of gold in the blue and yellow jacket. Prospect Wells is wider. Frankie is tracking them on Dali Sun. He's got a little yellow armband. Frankie Dottori, the leading rider so far at the meeting. Marta, then Desert Sea. Rossica in dark blue with a yellow cap. Kieran Fallon. El Yard is against the fence in the green and yellow. Yellow hoops followed further back by Dirar and salute him and Bernie the Bolton and John and Hillview boy is still out the back with the Betchworth kid and the grey Nanton continues to look on. They race against the trees on the far side of the course with about three quarters of a mile left to cover. An overturn has made it all in the hands of Eddie O'Hearn, followed by Centennial. Fortuny in a good pitch on the inside of Demolition and Prospect Wells. Darley some moving up round runners round the outside of Bridge of Gold and then Dangerous Midge. There followed uh, by Marta, who's hemmed in on the inside, but it should open up down the straight. El Yardi is further back with Rossica as they swing for home then with the home straight ahead of them now. And up ahead, Centennial is the one that's gone on, followed by Demolition and Bridge of Gold. Fortuny over on the far side. Overturn has dropped right away. Something amiss, possibly. Salute him coming through on the stands rail. Salute him challenging Demolition. Also right there, Bridge of Gold all alone over on the far Far side is Fortuny doing it all on his own. Dangerous Midge coming down the centre. Martha is now unleashing a run as well with Rossica in the dark blue jacket unleashed too, followed by Hillview Boy. Less than two furlongs to cover on the far side. Fortuny now Desert Sea comes through with Martha. Rossica, a hugely wide open race. Bridge of Gold and Dirar on the near side in the noseband. Rossica, Bridge of Gold and Dirar. Dirar on the near side of Rossica as they race up towards the line. And it's going to be another Irish win in the Ebor. And it goes to Dira and Jamie Spencer. Uh, Rossica second, Bridge of Gold third. Salute him a jar, Desert Sea. And they're off for the Betfred Ebor. First run in 1843, the oldest race at the Ebor Festival. And the 20-strong field came away to a pretty good line with Tactician out wide in the red sleeve jacket beginning to cross over and leads the field from the nose-banded pair of Ted spread ahead of Kill Rear Leg. Mount Athos close up in fourth place, the grey jacket, and then Investissement towards the inside. Blissful moment with a yellow cap is ridden handily with Fox Hunt and a dark green jacket beginning to cut through the field. 
And at the end of a couple of furlongs, it's Tactician who strides into a lead of two or three lengths as they continue progress across the Naysmire with now uh, Mount Athos, ridden much more handily than has often been the case, chasing the early pace. Kiel Rearleg is racing in third, a Sapta Party in a green jacket close up. Uh, meanwhile, Moden has been settled towards the midfield. Harleston Times is tucking in behind him against the fence. Another of the greys, Nanton, ridden with restraint. Vulcanite is racing at the tail. Halicarnassus and Hillview Boy among those held up. So it'll be some 15 to 20 lengths first to last, and it's 18-year-old Joseph O'Brien who leads aboard the Royal Runner Tactician by a couple of lengths from Mount Athos. Then a three-length break to Kiel Rearleg, the grey who races in third with Sapta Party, one of the two Brian Ellison runners in the race towards that one's out. A fox hunt seeing plenty of daylight. Ted spread and investing some on the dark sleeve jacket. Then blissful moment with a spot on the cap. Moden is weighted within midfield with Harlison times up the running rail in a dark jacket. Montaf and Salute him follow next. Lost in the moment, Frankie de Tori three quarters of the way back. The raw blue Godolphin colours being followed by Savino as they pass the halfway point. Nanton is still racing towards the rear of the field with Naham and Moyen Corniche. Halleck Carnassus Hillview Boy and Vulcanite is last of the 20 strong field as they begin the turn from the back. So Tactician, who's made just about all at a steady pace, leads from Mount Athos, Kill Rear Lake, Sapta Party, Investissimo in fifth, and then Fox Hunt wide of Ted Spread. Break of a length and a half to Blissful Moment, Moden the Pale Jacket, Richard Hughes tucked in on the inside. Salute him circling the field from Montaf, lost in the moment, now creeping up into the midfield from Harleston Times as they leave the half mile behind them. Then Nanton and Naham, Moyan Quinish still in rear with Vulcanite and Savino, running down towards the final three furlongs in the bet, Fred Ebor, and it's Mount Athos who joins the pace-setting tactician. Blissful moment away to the left, and the nosebound is ridden along. Kiel rear leg and Investissimont join them, and here's Moden in the pale jacket throwing out the challenge. Racing down to the final quarter of a mile, it's Investissimont who's picked up the running here from Moden. Kiel rear leg, tactician, Mount Athos chasing. Lost in the moment, switch the far side. Then Sapta Party, Moyon Kanish, Blissful moment, and Fox Hunt. Plenty of chances. Passing the furlong, Investissimont challenged by Moden. Tactician is rallying on the near side. Moyon Konish is thrusting down the near side as well, sticking his white nose in front. Moyon Konish gets to the front, close home. A rally from Tactician, but it's Moyon Konish who wins the e-ball for Brian Ellison. We're in second place, Tactician.